so this is the new Tim Barker style wood fired oven. We have the same rocket firebox here. Uh, wood goes in, heat goes up that way. And then this base was built off of Tim Barker's plans that are designed so that they can be put together with no welding. It's all pop rivets. And so, or a few bolts as well. Um, so we did scavenge the racks from the old oven, um, but you could put those in however you like as well. And we did keep the bricks in the bottom. The bricks give you a little bit of thermal mass where that fire is first hitting the steel floor of the oven. That thermal mass soaks up the heat and it kind of steadies your heat a little bit. So instead of having fast fluctuations if you add more wood to the fire, it sort of builds up slower and it cools down slower as your wood runs low and that way you get a more even baking temperature even with that little bit of thermal mass. You could do more if you wanted like a super steady long slow cooker or something. Uh, we're st and I think we're still using the insulated door from the old oven as well because it's got factory insulation inside of it. So uh, Tyler made this one, put this one together and he's excited about doing some more. Fire comes up, it goes around the oven like this, and then this chimney actually goes all the way down to the base of the cavity behind the oven and it's cut on a diagonal, so the exhaust gases have to go cool down enough to get all the way down to the bottom before they can escape up the chimney. So you're collecting the heat, the hottest exhaust gases up at the top, again it's kind of stratifying, and that balances out the intensity of the heat hitting the floor of the oven, gives you a lot of heat from the top. So you've got kind of more even heating and you're collecting more of the heat before you send the fire out the chimney, or the heat out the chimney. Uh, it's also got a metal skin. The earlier oven had kind of a cob plastery skin, uh, but that meant that it was really sensitive. If it started raining, we had to take it inside, which is awkward if you already are firing it and you don't want smoke inside. <laughs> uh, so this is just a little bit more weatherproof. We still do have, you know, a quick cob fill so that you don't you're not exposed to the insulation that's that's here. But so the you got the oven skin, you got a second metal skin. You've got a bunch of insulation, and then the heat goes behind the oven to get to the chimney. This is this is how deep the oven is, like that deep. Whereas the whole length of this chamber gives you another, like that back chamber, is that much deeper. So that's for the chimney. Um, and this brick is just, that's kind of your air control. A lot of times they were running this on like three sticks of wood to kind of get the heat that they wanted to hold steady at about 350. When they loaded it full bore, this thing got up to more than 700 degrees, which is like fast pizza temperature, but that's not what you want to do to your leg lamp. So it, uh, it worked really well. <laughs> is the back chamber just an open air chamber? Um, yeah, you can come around and take a look at the back if you like. It's it's closed to the outside, but it's just just kind of a round slice about like that big with the chimney in it here and the air just the, the exhaust just has to kind of get down to where it can get out of the chimney. Not much to see back here actually. So we have um, the back chamber is just made with the lid of the barrel, metal bungs, no gaskets. And so the chimney would come down right here to the base, and then the rest of it's just open. The exhaust is just stratifying in there. To get exhaust to stratify, you want a void that's like at least four times the volume of your chimney channels. And so this is, this is pretty close, I would expect, because otherwise you end up just with a stream that's running that path and the, the hottest part of the stream will be going to, you know, actively being sucked out the chimney. And if you get it to stratify, then the hottest part stays up here and the coolest part goes out the chimney. Hello, small boy and small dog. Even though you are not talking or barking, the trampling around on the tarp is still kind of loud.
Wanna go get some food? Wanna go with Justin and get some food? Who knows where the dog could be? Hiya! Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> Just let him stay. I think he's done with being told what to do. It's been a long month. Well, he wants to eat, so he will get it. Yeah, see if you can find his dog food dish and get some treats out of it. Alright, wanna try that again?